What's going on guys, Thick44 here, Human Man Warrior, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a steak. Now a lot of people are intimidated by making steaks. They don't know how, and I think everybody should know how to make a good steak. It's not hard, we're gonna do a simple recipe today. You're gonna to be looked at completely different by people when you make this steak. You're gonna smell different, you're gonna talk different, probably in a good way. And this recipe isn't groundbreaking. It's not anything we haven't seen on the internet, but you're coming to your favorite gaming channel, which is doing a steak video for some reason, to see it. All right, let's start off with our ingredients. One eight ounce ribeye, approximately one inch thick, olive oil, sea salt, cracked pepper, thyme, rosemary, four cloves of garlic and a half stick of unsalted butter. We're using unsalted because we can control the salt if we do that. Let's start our prep. Okay, first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is salt and pepper this thing pretty generously. Why? Because you are going to lose 30% of those seasonings in the pan. This may look like a lot, but trust me, it'll taste great. I like to use cracked pepper because it adds a good texture. Don't forget to get all around that because you want flavor everywhere. All right, we seasoned our meat, now we need to oil our pan. I am using a cast iron skillet. I love cast iron skillets. They distribute heat equally, there's no hot spots. Even though I love working on a grill, uh, cast iron skillet, we're gonna be able to baste this steak in a good butter, get all those aromatics in there, and uh, really knock this one out. We're gonna start off with olive oil. Do not get extra virgin because it burns quickly. Get the nice, regular, slutty olive oil. And then we're just gonna pour, I don't know, just whatever in here. That's, that's how much I use because you're gonna have a lot of fat rendered down from the steak. Uh, good ribeye gets marbleized really nice, so you're gonna have fat, fat equals flavor. It's gonna render down and do nice things. Also have a towel on you, cast iron skillet distributes heat everywhere, even the handle. I don't want you to burn yourself. I care about you. Nobody else does, but I do. Okay, our oil is starting to smoke. I know this is hot. If I put it in here, it's gonna start to sizzle. That's the sound we want. That's like, that's like love making to your ears, but no chance that you're gonna get any sort of virus or anyone pregnant. Always lay it away from you so you don't splatter up and get a burned belly. So rule of thumb, four minutes per side. And that's to get medium rare. I like my steaks medium rare. Uh, you can go a minute longer, you get medium, a minute longer, you get done, and then a minute longer per side, you get well done. If you're cooking your steak well done, you might as well eat a catcher's mitt. All right, that steak's been on there for about three to four minutes now. We are going to flip it over. Remember, flip away from you so it doesn't splatter. Look at, oh my God, look at that. That's amazing. It looks incredible. And this is the point where we wanna put in our aromatics. So we're gonna put that butter in. Just all around. Put in the thyme, the rosemary. Definitely smash that garlic first because the oils in it are gonna get in the butter. They're gonna get introduced to the thyme, the rosemary. They're gonna mingle, they're gonna hook up and eventually they'll be doing a walk of shame right into your steak. Now let's take a spoon. And we're gonna get those delicious juices. All that butter, brown butter right now at this point and baste it right over our steak. That adds so much flavor, you have no idea. All right, so we have a great firmness to this. I just wanna get it one more time. Gonna braise it one more time in these juices on this side, and then we're gonna pull it off. Again, if you have a thermometer and you're fancy, uh, you want this to be about 135, 145 for medium rare. I'm gonna cut the heat off. I'm gonna put this onto my cutting board. All right, our steak has been resting for about three to four minutes. Now's a good time where we can cut into it. You can see right here, all those juices. Said I was gonna make you a medium rare steak. Let's see how we did. Perfect. Holy cow, that is beautiful. So there you have it, Thick 44 has taught you how to make a steak. If you're under the age of five, get an adult to help you with this, otherwise you're good to just do whatever on the stove. Just kidding! If you don't feel comfortable around heat, knives, and all that stuff, find someone who is, they'll help you out. I have no doubt that you guys can do this. Again, you know, what a better place to get a steak video than from a gaming channel, why are we doing this? So hey, 
Thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you make a delicious steak for you and your family or whoever. Once again, I'm Fig44 and you're not.